Oh, oh, they got it. They got it. They got my rock. Oh, they're wicked sad about it, and they're really, really tired. But they got my rock. They got my giant rock in town, and the sheep is joining in the fun. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Dawn of Man. Some of my people have no light clothing. Well, that's a bit of a bummer then, isn't it? What could we, uh, is there anything we could be doing about that? Skins, that's a warm outfit. Leather is light. Okay, yeah, we are a little shy on leather. We've set up a new tannin gathering area, so hopefully that's going to help with that. But we are a little bit shy on leather lately. The defenses are starting to look good, though. The walls are going up. The watchtowers are going up. Most of our attacks have been coming from over here. We'll see how that goes. And we've got some megaliths. We've got a rolling megalith. Sounds like a great band name. I need some logs. Okay, we've got to be cutting down more. Why can't we just cut down these trees right here? You know what? We're just going to cut down those trees right there. That's a perfectly good place to be cutting down trees. Disease is affecting crop. My barley's going down. Okay, let's get a nice little tree cutting area right over there. And then what? We're in the copper age. We've discovered, I guess, how copper works. So we're in the copper age. There's nothing we can do about it. And I'm just noticing now all of these things are going to cost us 10 knowledge points rather than the 7 that we've seen previously. Okay, but there's not that much to do in the Copper Age. Just got a few things to pick off here. Most notably, the wheel. I'm very excited about finally learning how the wheel works. I'm pretty sure I could have figured it out way back here, but hey, I guess I'm not a Paleolithic man. Bronze Age. There's a lot to do there. Wow, I'm going to see. I'm seeing a lot of combat coming up in the Bronze Age here. Armor, swords, bows. Yeah, there's, there's all sorts of combat coming up later. Uh, what's the problem here? Not enough stable space. Okay. I was kind of of the opinion we actually have too many animals. This is my thought here. We actually have too many animals. How about animal limits? We've got the goats and the sheep at 50%. What if we just shave that back down to 33 and see how that does? Yeah, someone's starting some slaughtering here. One of those sheep is down and getting butchered. Good. I'm still getting not enough stable space, but hopefully we're picking a few of them off. All right, I will put up another stable. I don't want this whole town to be nothing but stables, but I'll pop one up over there. See if that helps a little bit. I mean, I want to have some animals. We're getting the wool and the milk and all that stuff out of them. So I don't want to bring them down to nothing, but at the same time... Oh, there's one of our pigs! Oh, hi! How are you, Mr. Pig? You have awesome coloration there. I'm really digging that. That reminds me, I've never actually set a limit for you guys. So, pigs, let's bring you down to, well, how about 33%? We'll see how that does. I'm just setting up a few quick things to get hunted here. Just always keep a little bit of food coming in. What's going on over here? A wild horse? Uh, maybe. Maybe. There's, there's an awful lot of bison over there, and they're fussy. They don't like us as much as other things do when we go up and murder them in the face. Anything else nice and green around here? Oh, who are you? And you're facing off against a cave bear, by the way. You're a mouflon. Okay, we've been hunting you for centuries. We may as well pick a few more of you off. Now, according to the game, I own three megaliths at this point. I don't think they're here. But maybe I've got to start the construction and they'll go get them. I'm going to see how that all plays out. Get me to, what is that, spirituality? Yeah, a men here. I'm probably butchering that, but a men here. I'd like to get the stone circle, but I need six of those, six megaliths. This only takes one. Oh, we did a deer for the very first time. Oh, okay, cool. There's a knowledge point. How about we did a men here, like right in the center of the original part of town? Really make it fun for people. Uh, how about right there? Let's see what they do with that. Ooh, and I've got a whole new tab. I've got metallurgy now. A charcoal pit. A pit furnace. Smelt copper and tin. Okay, a metalsmith. Oh, I've got a lot to do. I have an awful lot to do here. How about a copper mine to start? And then we'll figure it out from there. All right, so the copper has got the blue veins in it. All right, is there anything closer to home than that? And my short answer is no. That looks like... Oh, here's one over here. Okay, here's one right here. You're copper. Okay, I'm going to set up a 
copper mine over there. Get out of caveman vision and go to my metallurgy tab. Let's go. Oh, we built four stables. That's good. Let's get a copper mine going right over there. I just want to see how this is all going to play out. So they'll go get some copper and then we'll probably have to build all the other things. I'll throw down a charcoal pit. That's a really quick and easy thing to do. Let's get that to live, I don't know, somewhere over here. Yeah, by all, by all the dead people. That makes sense. Yep, mining is happening. We're doing some mining here. We're getting some copper out of here. We've done a charcoal pit. There's a knowledge point. I should probably just put down all of the buildings that I just learned how to do in the Copper Age just for the knowledge point. We probably won't be able to do anything with them right now, but I may as well put them down. So what else have I got in here? I did the charcoal pit. A pit furnace. Okay, well, it seems like a lot of the copper is over here. So why don't I put this furnace, who's what's it, also over here, just for convenience. Uh, woolly rhinos have gone extinct, and so has the mammoth. Well, that's unfortunate. Mammoths were good eaten. And I'll put the metal smith right next to this. Okay, so I'll probably get some points just for building that. We don't really need to do anything with it right now. Trees are coming down. Good, I really need the logs Logs we are very, very shy of right now. I know it's saying 30, but we're using them for a lot of things right now. How's the uh, how's the leather coming along these days? What is that right now? That's tannin. Have we made any more leather recently? That's skins. Yeah, we're, we're a little shy on that. Yeah, there we go. Pit furnace is up. There's one more knowledge point. I'm pretty sure I'll get another one for putting that smelting thing down. May as well keep some upgrades going. How about we upgraded you to a hut and you to a hut. Everyone's getting nicer houses in the Copper Age. That is my promise to you. Speaking of nicer houses, we're a little shy on space here. Ah, it's winter. Yep, there's my charcoal. Oh, we got some charcoal and that's a knowledge point. Great, we're already building some. Let's get another hut right here. I'm going to start running out of room. Long before we get to the end of this, I'm really kind of tight for space. I wasn't thinking about expanding over the river, but I might not have any options because we've got natural barriers all the way. I suppose I could extend into this valley a little bit. What are you? Come here. Come here. I want to see you and I want to see if I want to eat you. You're a wolf. Okay. We're probably not going to pick at you. So what exactly is it that you do over here? You make, well, metal copper, copper things, basically copper things. You can't do that right now though. You need uh, copper and t bronze. Okay. I need bronze smelting for that. Do I know that? Probably not until the Bronze Age, Dave. Your first clue right there. Yeah, it is limited. We're basically hopping around in the Copper Age, but really trying to get right to bronze. What else are we going to be able to do? Fruit trees. That's going to be fun. I like that. Rye domestication. We'll learn how cattle work, donkeys, and then again, of course, the wheel. Looks like I got to get donkeys before the wheel. Again, I'm pretty sure I can figure out a wheel before I figure out how to domesticate a wild donkey. Another knowledge point for some extra huts built. That's all very, very cool. Oh, I like the fact this one doesn't have snow on it yet. Oh, that's fun because we just built it. So these have snow on it and we just finished building that one. It doesn't have snow on it yet, but it will eventually. That's neat. So yeah, as I suspected, a lot of these buildings are completely useless to me. Although you're doing a thing. What are you doing over here? You, you're smelting some copper. Okay, right on, man. You got the charcoal, and you got the copper ore. All right, I should probably put another charcoal pit over here for convenience sake. You're bringing some copper in. Good job, man. Good job. You want to put that on a sledge at all? Because we're reasonably close to inventing the wheel, if that's going to help. What did you go and get? Who are you? Oh, you must be a trader. You've got a donkey and wheels. Oh, you're way more advanced than me. Got a donkey and some wheels. You're well into the Copper Age at this point. Yeah, you must be a trader. Well, cool. I'll see what you got to sell here. Yeah, talk to me. Um, you with the donkey. What have you got? Uh, well, you got got a donkey. Oh, I could just flat out learn donkey domestication right now. No, I'm gonna do that. At ten knowledge points apiece, if I can just jump right into this, it's gonna take me a lot to afford all of that. Where's all of my uh, my outfits? Those usually do pre Oh, those aren't doing well at all. You, you're not interested in that. How about wool? Do you like wool? You like wool a little bit more. I should not be selling all of my clothing, especially in the middle of winter. How about you don't sell the wool outfit in the middle of winter? Okay, it's costing me almost everything we have, including one sheep. But I've got plenty of other female sheep. I can afford to get rid of one of them. That's fine. 
Uh, if we get raided right now, we are done because I'm selling off so many of our weapons. But I really want the, the thing, the donkey domestication. So I'm getting that. Okay, donkey domestication is unlocked. I need to immediately start setting up so many things in here. All, all, especially spears. I sold a lot of spears off. Survive the winter. There's a knowledge point. There's my 10 knowledge points right there. Get us some more spears, please, because I just sold them all. And two new humans. That's fantastic. More importantly, the wheel, because I already learned donkeys now. Go right to the wheel, please. Thank you. And good news, there's already a pack of donkeys right across the river. So get me that male. Got a matching set, male and female. Excellent. Go get those two, if you could, please. Now, I'm sure I probably just unlocked a bunch of stuff learning the wheel. So how about we go to transport? What have I got now? A cart. Okay. Pulled by animals. That's fine. We don't have them yet. But I may as well get this party started. How about there's a cart there. And then maybe another one on this side of town. No surprise with all that stuff. The workload is too high as the game is telling me. It's also planting season as well. So everyone's out in the fields. I just outlined a bunch of stuff for them to do. No, uh, no dice on my men here, right? That's that law, that big stone. Yeah, big stone's still over there. What exactly is it that we're missing? Uh, probably the cart, dude. It's probably the cart. You probably need the wheels to get that thing over there. I got three work areas here, all for exactly the same thing. That sounds about right for me. Remove that. Remove that. Uh, we've done some harpoons. That's cool. How about we just maybe edit this? How about we make this one thing bigger? Wouldn't that be more efficient? Let's get that to be as big as I can make it right about there. Is there anything maybe up in here I could be grabbing? couple of things. Yeah, put it right there. That'll cover a whole bunch of that area over there. Yeah, that sounds about right for me. Three work areas right next to each other, all doing exactly the same thing. You know what? There's some more megaliths over here. I don't think I can actually do anything with them yet, but I'm going to go ahead and get them anyway. Get a megalith there and a megalith there. I'm just going to try and collect what I need for Stonehenge at some point. I, Lord knows where I'm going to put it. Where am I even going to put that? I should save this space over here. That would be a good spot for it. It's not terribly huge, but I'm running out of flat land to do it on. Okay, what else do we need to do? We're still back into two knowledge points, crawling our way towards the next thing. Did we ever... We probably didn't. We didn't get those donkeys yet, did we? Yeah, another knowledge point for some flower coming in. I wonder if I should start to set up another one of the flower things. It's never really been the flower issue as much as it's been the, the making the bread thing. It's not going to hurt. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put one of those up. Uh, so what is that? Production and then a mortar. Yeah, let's put it up on the other side of town here. I didn't do one over here, did I? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, hang on. Are you our donkey? Uh, sir, sir, excuse me. Are you? No, you're an adult female. You do not belong to us. You're an adult male, adult female. Got any kids? Uh, you have a female over here that apparently we were not going after. All right, give me a... Uh, one of those, and one of those. All right, we'll get some donkeys kicking around here eventually, hopefully. Oh, hang on, there's something else here I didn't notice too. We've got a workshop. Okay, which I assume is better than the crafting spot. All right, where the heck are all these things gonna live? I'll put you over there for right now. Anything else I missed? Weaver, we've already got that. The flint mine we're doing. We've done some mortars. Apparently I did have a second one around there somewhere. Some people have no light clothing. We're trying to work on that as best as we can. Uh, talk to me about more mining things. Just the copper mine for right now. So we can't do tin, iron, or deep iron yet. And what else have we got? A bloomery and a blacksmith. Okay. Not really sure what to do with most of that information. Okay, trader person, I kind of sold like literally everything to everyone else. You have cattle domestication. Yeah, I would not mind having that, but I, I can't. I can't afford that. There's no possible way. You do have some leather outfits. I wouldn't be opposed to taking those off of you. My people need them. I'll take your bread. Any other food? No. No, no other food. All right, 35. I should be able to make that up in no time. Oh, and those little loaves of bread pushed us over 500 for one more knowledge point. I did see we were a little low on sickles, I believe. No, 20 sickles we've got. Picks we could use some more of. And axes we could use some more of. 
okay, I can probably make many of those things happen. How about some axes and a couple of picks? Anything else we're desperately short on? No, that should cover us for right now. Oh, oh, hang on. We're doing a, a rolling megalith. What are we doing? Are we moving my rock? Oh, we moved it a little bit. Maybe. Okay, what, what, what's going on over here with the megalith? What's uh, There's a storm. That's fine. Did, did we move the rock or did you guys just give up? Because I'm pretty sure you can just roll that right into the river, man. That's that part you can do. That's how gravity works. A good kick and that's going down the river. Maybe get a pal to help you, but I don't know what that means then. Where's my rocks? I want to have big rocks in town. All right, I'm going to get another tanner station down over here. So I'm... I think maybe that's the issue. Maybe it's like the mortar and the flower thing. We need the middle middle part of production. Uh, we've done a workshop. That's a knowledge point. Cool. Uh, what do we actually do here? What what do you make? You make bows. You make carts, sledges, fishing rod. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah, let's make a few of those. That sounds like a really good thing to be having. Ah, we've technically got a donkey now. Excellent. We've we've domesticated one somewhere. I haven't seen any others. Do you now people know how to do a cart? Actually, speaking of cart, this is one of them, right? We need, what, a donkey? Got that. Leather. This is my limiting factor right now is leather. This is the problem. Uh, let's get another tannin work area. How about we get that going along? Which one is that again? Fishing, wild plants, mining, tannin. All right, I put one up there. Let's put one somewhere else. How about... There's some over there, but we're also cutting those trees, too. A little bit there. A tiny little bit over there. All right, we're a little boned for tannin in the area. How about this big, thick batch over here? Uh, there's enough. You know what? There's enough. We got some wool. There's a knowledge point. Go do a work area over there. And, of course, the other component to leather is skins. So let's keep the hunting going on as well. What are you? No, you're you're a fishing bank. I know what you are. How about you? You're an Ibex. Nope. Now you're going to be worn by somebody. Okay. Anyone else in the area? What are you? You're a Mouflon. Well, congratulations. I've already got too many of you as it is. You are going to be lunch. Oh, oh, they got it. They got it. They got my rock. Oh, they're wicked sad about it. And they're really, really tired. But they got my rock. They got my giant rock in town. And the sheep is joining in the fun. Oh, good job, team. Oh, that does look tough. You ain't wrong about that. You know, we're actually literally making something with wheels on it right now. This is actually a thing that was happening. You could have waited like another week or so. We would have had that. All right, put my big rock up. I want to see it. Oh, good job, team. And you're right into this. Yeah, Imad, you are wicked into the giant rock thing. Everybody's into this. Everyone's coming over to pray at the giant rock. This is fantastic. Okay, so we can do it. We can get this done. Donkey has a disease. That's unfortunate because I don't actually have very many of you. I kind of need as many as I can get. Well, well, we'll figure it out as we go along. There seems to be a bunch in the area, so if we need to domesticate more, we can domesticate more, but I'm more excited about my big rocks. Somebody show me more of those. That's a megalith. Get it. Get it. It's not even that far away. Uh, those are very, very far away. That's probably going to be pretty tough for the team. Are those megaliths? No, that's flint. Okay, good to know it's there, though. I could put up a flint mine. Uh, what are you? You are a megalith. Great. Grab that one, too. Of course, that also means a knowledge point. So now what? I think fruit trees would be excellent. Yeah, I can't think of anything I'd like more than some fruit trees. Uh, what season is it? It is fall. Okay, so we're probably... Oh, raiders. Hang on, hang on, hang on. We'll deal with the cherry trees in a bit. But we are... Let's everybody go into alert, please. Alert mode. Where are they coming from? Right over there. Okay, great. Good. Uh, they'll walk right into our um, gate and over the bridge. Yeah, the kids are running. No surprise. Run! Run, little child, and uh, go pick some berries or something while you're not occupied. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Boy, there sure are a bunch of raiders coming. Yep, that's not a small amount of raiders. Can we get some of you to go, like, maybe over here? Can I get you to go in the in the watchtower? No, you don't, you know, you're just going to hang out here. Okay, that's cool. Um, we could close the gate, but this is like a great little bottleneck that they come into. Oh, don't solo this one. I, I, I did. Don't solo that. Just wait for backup, man. All right, everybody's in on this. Yeah, I did died. Wait for backup. All right, we're fending them off. They're kind of running. They're kind of running. They're still attacking. Wow, they do not give up. They, we've got two two people down and a bunch of dogs down. These guys, do you, do you guys want to get in on this? 
You want to come out and deal with that? Alright, I have to think about my defenses a little bit more. All of you guys did nothing. You just totally chilled out over there and did absolutely nothing. Alright, two people dead, a bunch of dogs dead. That's unfortunate, but, you know, that's, that's a raid. Alright, back to the more, hopefully, beneficial stuff here of trees. Service tree, chestnuts, cherry tree, and pears. Let's go with pears. Can I just put a small thing in? No, that's very, very big. That is super, super big. Uh, you know what? I'll put, well, am I going to have to gather from this? Or are they going to automatically gather it? Well, they automatically gather the other fields. So I'm going to put one there. I mean, like one, one tree there. And then I'll put some more up, say, over here. No, I want to do that again. How about cherry trees? Let's put some of those up around here. Okay, put that right in there. I'm going to set the tanner to high priority because we really need the leather. Leather is our limiting factor right now, so we may as well get it more of it as fast as we can. I'm going to set this one. Oh, I already set it to high priority. No, no, it is now set to high priority. Yeah, you're good. You're fine, man. Just do, do the tanning leather thing over here. Bunch of stuff is coming in. We've got more straw. Good, because we've got more animals to feed, so that's going to be handy. All right, two knowledge points in. Raid over. Big stones come into town. I like that. Flint mine is exhausted. Okay, we can probably learn to cope with that. I can put up another one. There was some good pockets of flint around here. Let me uh, see. I think there's actually one reasonably close by. Uh, that's the one that's exhausted, Dave. It has zero flint in it. Okay. How about this one maybe over here? It's not... Uh, that is... Are these all exhausted? I see zero flint. Zero out of 15. Okay, we must have hit all of these before in some fashion. How about... Uh, oh, are you a megalith? Oh, yeah, go get that for me, please. I need one of them. Uh, what are you? You're, you're a megalith I think we already got, right? No, prepare that for transport. Everybody go get some big rocks. I'm looking for flint right now. Okay, there's one flint mine right over here. We'll take advantage of that. All right, I'm going to get... Because I don't think they're going to move the megaliths until I tell them to build something. That's just, you know, why would they? We're like, no, we're not just going to bring it into town for no reason, man. You got you to gotta put something up. So I'm getting, I'm getting my Stonehenge. Stone Circle, right there. It's going to look awesome. I think last thing I want to get building is another hut. We've got room for more people right now, but that's not going to last forever. So let's get a hut going facing the Stone Circle. You can be in charge of the Stone Circle. You can be like, I don't know, the cleric of the Stone Circle or something when that comes in. There's one of our donkeys. Yeah, it's the leather. We need leather right now. Well, let's get a little bit more hunting going on. It's not going to hurt. That's some skins. We got some tannin coming in at some point. What's available? Hi, you. Come here. Uh, Ibex, you. I need to skin you. Sorry. I'm going to eat you as well if it helps. Another trader's just shown up. She's got a donkey and a cart. I don't have a donkey and a cart. I could just buy a donkey from you. I could just get one. Do I need that? I'll take your fish. I'll take any food. Always take food. It just seems very obvious. Uh, 96. You probably come up with that fairly quickly. Oh, I need more bows. Very low on bows. Wait a minute. We've made copper spears? Oh, must be on the automatic thing and the little workshop thing there. Okay, that's fine. Um, I've got quite a few female sheep. Would you like one or two of them? How about you had two female sheep and some rocks? I'm going to give you a few pieces of flint to make that up. Now, we've got some more skins coming in, drying on the rack there, which is encouraging. Hopefully, between that and some of the tannin that we've picked up, we can make some leather, which seems to be what's holding up the whole party here. That is probably an excellent place to call it on Dawn of Man for today. Guys, do please keep the comments coming in. Let me know what you're thinking of Dawn of Man. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Uh, oh, they're stealing Jurgen. They're stealing Jurgen again. Once again, Jurgen is the Aquaman of our colony. Wait, I, can I take off my mohawk? Hang on. I can take off my mohawk. I'm wearing a wig. Oh, I got an achievement for decorating. It's about time, video game world. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I, I broke Dave. You broke Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> uh, talk about yourselves, I'll be back. <laughs> uh, I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.